Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. Uh, since guys, your currency shows nice action, we probably today will take a look again at it. And uh, as we said yesterday, um, there are two other currencies that's really attractive and uh, that shows really interesting setups are New Zealand dollar and Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar is interesting uh, due to our former double repo buy pattern that we have discussed on the daily chart. Yesterday we said that there was some opposite potential and the uh, market really use it. Uh, right now we see that Canadian dollar is uh, close and close to the uh, minimum double repo target is the 50% uh, resistance of the thrust down on the daily chart. And mostly we could say that double repo uh, setup is mostly is housed already because market right now stands very close to the target. What uh, speaking about the New Zealand dollar, uh, New Zealand dollar has a bit longer term setup, maybe even on the on the weekly chart. That's why we not need to hurry to take a look at the New Zealand dollar. So if you would like, you could take a look at the weekly chart and the daily time frame chart on the New Zealand dollar. You could find there are very interesting patterns that now are forming. And probably we, we, we will dedicate some updates on the New Zealand dollar uh, later. But right now we continue to track the situation on the euro currency uh, because we have uh, the setup and progress, the trading plan that they have developed in the weekly chart and the first stage of our plan has been achieved. So as you can see, we are mostly sp speak about uh, downward continuation because we said that due to the factors and uh, patterns that have been formed due to the price action, uh, it seems that the chances on the downward continuation are greater right now than the possible upward reversal. And this really has happened. So the first minor target has been hit. That is the monthly pivot support one. It's 135.64 area. That is also the target of this engulfing pattern and the target of the bearish stab grabber. Market has taken out of these lows. That's why our thought about the possible uh, appearing of the butterfly sell here, upside butterfly, uh, has been resolved and market has vanished this opportunity. Uh, the next target will stand at 135.25 area by two reasons. Uh, we will take a look at it on the lower time frame chart. Here you also guys see the, uh, the ultimate target. This is the 127 extension of the butterfly, approximately around 134.70 and very close to the yearly pivot point 134.75. That will be the ultimate target if butterfly will be achieved. But right now uh, on the daily time frame chart we see very significant moment is that take a look that this move down was really fast. Market right now stand as below the weekly pivot point as below the monthly pivot point. Uh, even more, we could say that on the on the uh, concerning to the weekly pivots, market right now stands even below the weekly pivot support one. That indicates that currently we have not just a retracement with the upper trend, but this is new bear trend that's now developing. And as market has reached this target fast with this really significant plunge down during yesterday's trading session, this is the significant sign that points on the possible further downward continuation. Maybe today market will take some pause and will show some retracement, but fast acceleration right to the target suggests possible um, downward continuation. On the 4 hour time frame chart, here you see our ABCD pattern and next target that stands at 135.25. Also you could see the trend is bearish on the 4 hour time frame chart as well. And you can see this really fast action below the weekly pivot point. And right now market is struggling with the uh, weekly pivot support one. Right now it also stands below it. Also take a look that market has passed through the major, uh, major 618 support from this low to this top. 
the 618 support market has broken through it. All these moments point on the solid bearish potential uh, on the euro currency in the short term perspective and the chances that market really will continue move lower. Also guys somewhere around this area slightly higher stands the 618 extension of this ABCD pattern, the minor extension I will show you. Um, just to show you what is really going on. That's guys by the way was an agreement. So the ABCD minor 618 extension coincides with the FIP support. That is also a combination of the weekly and monthly pivot support one. You can see that market right now is broken, is breaking in through it. This really strong support cluster in market right now is moving below it. That points on the real bearish power right now uh, on the market. On the hourly chart, I think that we can, could continue deal with the butterfly that we have discussed previously, especially because this butterfly has the same target as the 4 hour ABCD pattern. Take a look that 1618 extension stands at 135.28, just 3 pips higher than the target of the ABCD pattern. It's really interesting. And uh, the butterfly itself also confirms that market probably will continue move lower. That will be the next target because the one of the features of the butterfly suggests that if market shows the acceleration right to the 127 target or hits this target with the uh, almost the single question with the impulse action. You can see on the forward time frame chart that in fact it was by the one candle to the downside. Here you also could draw this butterfly, right? Uh, it's really fast. It means that market probably will continue mo move to the next target. Despite uh, whether it will show any retracement up or it will continue move right from this area. Uh, that's why you can see that we have a lot of different uh, signs that point on the probable downward continuation. And hence uh, we have hit the first target that we have specified. Now we stand on the road to the next target and I probably till the end of the week it should be hit. That target stands at 135.25 area.